uh, this uh, this video we review the um, the material for linear dependence. Uh, by the definition and uh, vector or uh, set of uh, set of vectors are linearly independent is defined as uh, if we call u is the subset uh, or the set of linear uh, of vectors we keep vector sets. Uh, if the equation k1 v1 plus k2 v2 plus uh, maybe they will call this k uh, not vk maybe we, we call this uh, vl uh, kl vl K L V L equals zero. If this equation has only trivial solution, that means K one equals K two equal equals K L equals zero. Then we say that uh, V one to V L are linearly independent. Linearly independent. If if at least one if at least one k i does not equal zero, we say that the set v one to v r are linearly dependent. This is the definition of linearly dependent and independent. Actually, from uh, from the definition, the definition can be right as from the definition we know that this is the, this is the equation. Uh, the solution of these equations are tell us that uh, whether the the vector sets are linearly dependent or independent. Actually, this uh, equation can be write as can be write as v one v two to v l uh, times that is k one to k l equal zero. Uh, and if we write a equals the the v1 to vl as the column of the matrix, then then uh, we can write this as a x equals zero to 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 uh, determine. And if we want to VK, uh, VL are linear dependent or independent, we just need to solve AX equals zero. If the, there's only trivial solution, then, then uh, if AX equals zero has only trivial solution, Then uh, v1 to vl are linearly independent. And by the uh, uh, by the last video, we know. Uh, we know some criteria for linear uh, for um, the trivial solution. Uh, 
for the, or for uh, the, there's some criteria for the, or, uh, if a linear uh, system has untrivial solution. So we have the uh, criteria because criteria criteria. Because the linear independent is uh, equivalent to trivial solution, so we have the criterion for our linearly independent. The first one is ax equals zero has only trivial solution. And this uh, this uh, this criteria is just just from the definition, and uh, the rank of A is less than uh, is uh, equal to to L. That is the the rank of A is the uh, is the number of vectors. The rank equals the number of vectors. The third one is AX equals B has unique solution. AX equals zero has a trivial solution as equivalent to AX equals B has unique solution. The first one, if we, uh, because this is a review, a review course, maybe we can use uh, the material uh, after the linear de de the definition of linearly independent. If the determinant a of a equal uh, uh, not not equal zero, a is if a is square matrix. There's there's some, uh, there's some other criterion, many many other criterion, but the most uh, efficient way to determine uh, vector set are linearly independent. We use these four is uh, these four criterion are enough, and the most you uh, and the most uh, efficient way is use the rank. Because the solution can be determined by the rank. Uh, if we want to use the uh, the concept of rank to determine uh, our vector set, uh, linear dependent or independent, uh, we have to use row reduction for the for the matrix. Because the rank is the long, uh, the long zero, uh, the number of long zero uh, rows in the uh, uh, in the row uh, in the row actual form. Now let's take take some examples. Determine which of the following. Vector set. A vector sets are uh, independent. We can use any of any of this uh, this criteria. The first one is uh, one negative one zero. And uh, three, two, one, three, five, negative two, 
the second set is one 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 and uh, one negative one one and uh, zero zero one That's the third one is one negative one one negative one uh two zero one zero and uh, zero negative two one negative two and the four the fourth one 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 zero zero. The second second is one zero one zero. The third vector is zero zero one one. And the last one is zero one zero one. Uh, first. Uh, a equals one negative one zero three two one and three five negative two. We use row reduction. If if the rank is uh, three, then it's linear independent. The first one. So we add the first row to the second row. That's five. That's H and zero one negative two and uh, uh, we uh, multiply the third the third row by negative five and add to the second the row one three three zero zero times negative five. A negative five is eighteen zero one negative two and uh, uh, exchange exchange the uh, the second and third rows is zero one negative two zero zero negative oh that's positive eighteen so the rank rank a equals three and the, the number of vectors are uh, is all is also three so it's linearly independent the vector the vector set are linearly independent the second one we the first uh, way you use the uh, rank the criteria for rank to determine if the vector set are linearly independent. The second, the second example is one 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 negative one one zero zero one. We can use the, the determinant of a. Ex, uh, expand the expand the determinant. By the uh, third, the third column. That is one times one 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 negative one. That is negative two. It's non-zero. So this vector set are linear. It is linear independent. that's independent because the uh, it's a square matrix it's a square matrix and it's determinant are non zero uh, it's a determinant is not zero so this vector set is linearly independent and the third one a equals 
one, negative one, one, negative one, two, zero, one, zero, and zero, negative two, one, negative two. Because this matrix is not is not a square matrix, so we cannot use the determinant. Uh, but we can use still use the rank, use the row reduction. Uh, add the add this first row to the second row. That's two zero two negative two. The third uh, the third one the third row subtract the first row negative one one. Uh, add the first row uh, negative two. One two zero. Uh, we can we can see here that the third the, the second is the third and uh, the fourth rows are in propor uh, proportion. So zero we divide the second row by two zero one negative one and then add to the third rows add to the third row and uh, times times the second row by negative two and add to this the fourth row or actually we can uh, use the fourth row uh, subtract the second row is zero so the rank a equals two that's less than three so this uh, this vector set is linearly dependent is linear dependent because the rank is less than the the number of vectors and the fourth one that is here one one zero one one zero zero and uh, one zero one zero one zero one zero and the third zero zero one one zero zero one one and uh, zero one zero one zero one zero one we can use uh, We can use the row reduction. Uh, actually, uh, uh, we can use determinant determinant as well. But now maybe uh, the row reduction may be easier. Zero, one one zero zero uh, subtract by first. That's negative one zero one. Zero one one zero 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 one one and the third the third row uh, add the second row to the third row one one zero 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 negative one zero one then it's zero zero one one zero zero one one Actual uh, from here we can see that the the second uh, the third row are the same with the fourth row. So we uh, subtract the fourth row by the third row. That is one one zero 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 negative one zero one zero zero one one zero 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 zero, zero. So the rank A equals 3 less than 4. So it's linearly dependent. That's the, uh, how to determine if a vector set 
uh, linearly dependent or linearly independent. Uh, but there's uh, maybe a note here. Uh, if v1 to the vk are row vectors, if if there are row vectors, then a should be right as uh, v1 the right as column vector. First, tra transpose a, a each vector to the uh, column vector. That's v2 transpose to v uh, maybe here vl. Right as uh, first, write uh, each vector, each vector as and the column, uh, the column vector. Then, uh, then uh, we write a. We we can use the column vector as the uh, column vectors of a. Uh, this should we we should know.